Hi, I'm Mai. And I'm Jay. And this is our channel, Biblio Puzzlers, where we talk about books and puzzles. In this episode, we're going to show you all the puzzles that we got from Marshalls. It's a lot. That's a lot of puzzles. Yep. We actually went there looking to replace some of our pots and pans. Mm -hmm. And we ended up leaving with this huge bag of puzzles. And the bag itself. Yeah, we had to buy the bag because we went in there with no bags, no nothing. And so we bought the bag and all these puzzles in here. So we're gonna get right into it. All right. Okay, so the first puzzle is Pink, oh, Pink Sky I think is the brand. This one is called Nutcracker Sweet. Ooh. And this brand, Pink Sky, is new to me. You've never heard of it. And, oh my, like, look at this image. I could not leave this behind. <laughs> so I had to get them. Um, we kind of both picked this one. I think I found it in between, like, mm -hmm. the game board shelves. So I found this one, and I just automatically fell in love with it. Yeah. So this is called Nutcracker Sweet. It's a thousand pieces, and the brand is Pink Sky. Yeah, definitely something we'll do around Christmas time. So. Yep. So... Our next puzzle is from Kodak. Uh, it is titled Library Mischief. It is also a thousand pieces. Um, I don't remember who picked this one, but it seems like a you pick. But um, I don't either way. <laughs> so I love the image because, you know, cats and books. Please. And yeah, it's just great. Yep. So Cats, books, <clears throat> puzzles. That's the perfect trio. Mm-hmm. Um, next one is another Kodak one, Thousand Pieces, and it is I Love Donuts is the title of it. Did you pick this one or did I find it? Um, I don't know <laughs> anymore. Yeah, I don't remember. But we got this one because it's very bright and colorful and the donuts just look very delicious on here. We've only one done one other donut one, and that one was by Seiko. Mm -hmm. And I love the colors on it, so I think this one would also look very great once it's completed. Yeah. Although the other donut one was a little more organized. This one's just kind of like... Yeah, this one is everywhere. All, colors everywhere. <laughs> so, um, next up we have well, another Kodak one. Uh, this one is Times Square and 7th Avenue in Manhattan, New York, obviously. Um, I don't know when this is from. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? But it's a very good picture. It is. It's a very good picture. Um, and there's just a lot going on. I think you picked that one. I'm pretty sure I picked this one. Yeah. Um, it's a thousand pieces, so it's going to be a little, a little tough. So, especially with all them colors on <laughs> there. Uh, this one I think you picked as well. This is another Kodak yeah. 1000 pieces and this is titled Neon Retro Signs by Gary Walton and Why did you pick it? I think it was just I, all the signs. No yeah, I like it. the I like the neon uh, Signage like kind of the vintage signage stuff. And this one might so. be tough because everything is just all oh, jumbled yeah. up together. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. So. It better be worth it because I can already tell I am gonna struggle with this one. Yeah, definitely. But that's that's the whole image mm -hmm. right there. Um, and then next up, we have this 300 piece Star Wars puzzle. Um, I couldn't find the title anywhere on here specifically, but it's from Buffalo Puzzles, which uh, is a brand that we bought from quite quite a lot. Um, but it's you know it's. Santa Claus Yoda, um, it's 500 pieces, so, or 300 pieces, sorry, my bad. It's 300 pieces, they're large pieces, so it'll probably be a little, little easier to do. Um, but again, this will be another kind Christmas. of Christmas time one, yep. so. Um, the next three are more of the pink sky ones that I kept finding and I was not gonna leave any of them behind. So this is the next one. This one is titled Woodland w Winter. It's 500 pieces. And again, it's by that brand Pink Sky that I've never heard of. I'm gonna look more into it, but I just love the image. 
Like, look at this. I could not walk out of there without this. It's very nice. Like, I just... Awesome. I don't know. Pink Sky might might become my favorite brand. Again, I haven't done any other puzzles. I don't know about the quality or piece cut or anything. But just the packaging itself and the image, I'm loving it. Uh, the next one that we have is, you know, like she said, another Pink Sky one. It's 500 pieces. Um, it is called All the Joy Ornaments. Um, I'm pretty sure you picked out all the Pink Sky ones. I yeah. mean, I definitely was like, oh yeah, these ones are really nice too. But you were the one that... Yeah, I just kept finding them in that um, section where all the board games were. Mm -hmm. They kept like appearing behind board games and I just was grabbing every single one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Pink Sky just like does holiday themed puzzles or if they just you know do puzzles regularly as well but i mean we did go kind of during christmas time yeah so. uh, still but definitely looking into pink sky so next one another pink sky this one is called gingerbread village 500 pieces and that's the image right there i just I just love the packaging and the colors and that's the like full puzzle image right there. Mm -hmm. So I just like I, I like them because they're they're simple images, but they're they're very good. Like look at this, look at this. <laughs> so, Pink Sky, really look into their puzzles. Up next, we have uh, ones that I I chose. Um, I don't know what brand they're from. They're probably from. You know, that's but they are exploding kittens uh, puzzles. This one is the creation of cat. It's a thousand pieces, so it'll be a little, a little tough. This one's obviously based on the whole uh, creation of man by I don't want to say Da Vinci, but I don't think that's right. So um, I like it because it's the exploding kittens. I've never actually played it, but I love the art, so it's great. So. Well, the rest of yours. Well, I mean, I did some of yours too. <laughs> so. so the next one is another exploding kittens. I don't know what uh, are they their own brand? I don't know, but um, this one is called Feline of Unusual Size, a uh, thousand pieces, and that's the image right there. So I've seen a couple um, people post their pictures of their exploding kidding puzzles and they do look like they're nice quality so mm. i have high hopes for these and then the last one that we have is another exploding cats one it is cats playing chess and i love it because it's you know the artwork is great and it's just so hectic and everything going on and it's just i don't know it's fantastic so um and apparently, on the back of it, uh, has 13 icons hidden within the puzzle art. I don't, I don't know, probably for the game itself. Which again, I've never played, but it looks fun. That's, that's it for all of our puzzles, so. That was how many? One, two, three, four. So Five. it was four, four of the pink sky ones. And three of the exploding kittens. And then? Five, well, four Kodak slash crazy art. Yeah. Um, and One then, of these. Buffalo. And that's it. Total of how many? Twelve puzzles. Twelve puzzles. So. Yeah, we spent a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we went in there looking for one thing and we left with a bunch of puzzles. Yep. But. So, I'm not complaining. Me neither. So, um. Have you done any of these puzzles? And if so, uh, which one was your favorite? Uh, which one did you not like? Um, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.